you will be able to understand this pull and push strategies better now because you know that broadly we have already done lots of things which comes under pull marketing pull marketing is you know when you bring people to you means you have created a platform you have created a website you have created a blog you have created social media profiles in 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 in, in facebook or uh, you know google or twitter or uh, uh, on uh, where on linkedin and uh, there are followers now instagram or tiktok is also one of these you know social media platforms where people uh, can be pulled to your website so the more number of uh, these people are there similarly you know these uh, television ads you know online banners social media banners what are they they are all forcing people directly or indirectly or creating interest or actionable interest you know so that they come to you right so once they start coming to you they become part of the concept called pull marketing you bring them to you okay but if uh, you reach out to people then it is called push marketing means they don't come to you if you recall i had also given you a concept called never cold call again don't give calls they should come to you so that was part of pull marketing but if you go to them if you give a call a cold call if you give a warm call if you send a mail if you send a brochure right uh, if you uh, you know approach people on social media directly in their inbox or you, if you you know try to send information booklet brochure ads where whatever way you know through uh, database that we had uh, talked about you know while we were talking about on email marketing or uh, electronic campaigns you know so all those activities that involves you approaching client that is called push marketing means you are pushing yourself to, towards them when you call them to you that is called pull you pull them towards you but when you push your product to someone through email through through websites through whatever manner you know it is called push marketing so there's a basic difference between pull and push marketing but while doing all this pull and push remember that ida model again i i will uh, tell that four points awareness interest and desire and those desires to be converted into action right so now uh, you know these are the conceptual things that i have already discussed with you i would also like to show you certain uh, you know data about uh, you know uh, online presence and effectiveness of these activities that is happening this uh, you know particular uh, thing that uh, the graph that i am you know this picture that i am trying to show is all, although old but this is relevant for example let's see social media effectiveness you know 63% of companies you know this is a research of a market research you know a result of a market research 63% of the companies are saying that you know if they started using social media marketing or internet marketing they started more getting more benefits 20% of the social you know these b2b marketers were able to generate business you know in last uh, few years of their uh, you know budget in uh, uh, you know used on company blogs or social media the result has given 300% better results you know there are some uh, marketers who are who have been using twitter you know to their advantage and 44% of them have got you know results this particular graph i i recall is from 2012 i will share you know another uh, you know uh, better uh, more updated uh, such data results in our social media marketing class but for for the time being let's understand the next one when we are talking about blogging you know 88% for b2b 57% acquired uh, you know these customers through blogging 
If you do blogging, there is an increased number of visitors to your website. You know, this blogging also it generates leads on the, through websites. So if you are doing blogging and there is a you know link in, uh, embedded there, people click on that and they, they 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 come to your product or services. Similarly, you know, I am talking. This is a result. Uh, this is a result of US. Eighty nine percent of internet users search online before they make a purchase. You know, in US. So just imagine the behavior. You know, I was not able to get this uh, behavior pattern for uh, for for India. But it is very relevant, you know, even for uh, for our uh, you know country, which which has whose online population has increased tremendously. If you if you recall, I have shown you that we are the second largest online population of the world now. Six times increase in websites, you know, business with websites. People who have websites with four hundred to thousand pages get six times more leads than with. 51 to 100 pages. So, if your website has a good number of pages with good content, the possibility of increasing visitors is very high. So, the more number of visitors are there, the more in you know Ida model thing has been incorporated into your 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 concept. The better it is. Similarly, when we talk of you know email marketing, 59% of the email marketers, B2B one, they say that email marketing is very very effective for their business. You know, there are certain keywords which play a major role. For example, exclusive, for example, discount, for example, free webinar, for example, gifts. These are terms, you know, they, they, they prompt your potential customers to click on those uh, links. So you have to study, you know, there's a, a proper market study has to be done. 